Hi, uh, this is my self-recorded teaching analysis for quarter two, and my unit was why do plants grow flowers? I recorded the first lesson in my unit um, and decided to use it as uh, the, the for this assignment because I got so much discussion in that first lesson. Um, starting off, um, just a little background content. Um, I used just a simple post-it note to elicit prior knowledge and I asked what do plants need to grow. We then engaged in the mystery science videos with Mr. Doug. I gave st students time to turn and talk and then I, as we moved through the content, I um, connected <clears throat> another lesson they're doing which is their marine wildlife project to sort of think about plants having a life cycle because we had talked about animals having a life cycle. The performance task was that to then um, build paper flowers, um, label the stigma and um, the pollen, and then they had pipe cleaner bees that they went around the room and pollinated flowers with, um, which went really well, I thought. They were then asked at the very end to draw their version of what they think a plant life cycle might look like. Um, for to ensure equitable sense making, my the mystery science videos were available in English and in Spanish. There were clear expectations given for discussion. So um, when I'm talking, you are not talking. When your partner's talking, you are listening. Um, and then three, two, one, or three, two, one, voice level zero to bring them back in from discussion. I also used if you can hear me clap once, if you can hear me clap twice. Um, all students who are ELL had a bilingual student in their group. I didn't want anyone feeling out of left out of the discussion. Um, and again, um, I infused some prior knowledge with the animal marine life, animal life cycle. And I also tried to instill accountability. So I let the students know prior to the lesson that I want to hear from one person in each group and I'm going to randomly choose which person in each group will um, share. So please have something ready to share. <clears throat> so some strategies and talk moves uh, that I used. Um, can you explain how you know? Um, what did student number three just say? Do you agree? Can you explain more? Um, when we arrived at the life cycle discussion, um, how do you know flowers have a life cycle? Um, I had one student say no, and then I asked, why not? Why don't you think they do? Um, and then when we got to maybe a more majority agreement in the classroom, I said, okay, so if I am understanding you, you're telling me that flowers have a life cycle because they begin as seeds and make new flowers. And then we went into a hand signal if we agree, if we understand, if we're in the middle, or if we're sort of not quite there yet. As I was monitoring students' discussion, I heard a few key things throughout the lesson that um, let me know that students are really sort of wrestling with the content. I heard that uh, one student used, I respectfully disagree, and this was um, related to honey and van and vanilla plants, and the, the honey makes the, um, the flower, the vanilla plant sweet, which was a misconception, but um, the other student respectfully disagreed, and um, they sort of talked about that. Another student mentioned, um, flowers can't walk, um, and that is related to it's their understanding that the flower can't walk over and pollinate another flower. It needs the it needs the pollination process or you know something like a honeybee or a butterfly to pollinate it. Um, honey is sweet because pollen must be sweet. That was the misconception that I really tried to like build on, and and I let the student know like I understand that you understand that honey and and pollen and nectar are related. But let's try to let's try to build um, re, let's try to reconstruct what what we're thinking there, um, and then eventually um, students um, explained to me that pollen needs um, animals like or insects like bees or um, butterflies because the pollen needs to be able to move around. <clears throat> 